Brothers and sisters, the celestial energy, brother wisdom, what's going on? I was inspired to give you this message. Um, and I'm, I'm going to put this in the information box where I got it from because everything is coming in, into alignment the way it's supposed to. But it, it is a message I received that was that was a message made by the Lakota tribe. You got to understand that the Lakota tribe is not these uh, Siberian Asians that call themselves natives. Remember, we had tribes, brothers and sisters, who time travel. And according to this information, it was a brother named Crazy Horse. And so he went on his quest um, seeking uh, time. All right. He went on his quest seeking time. And what he saw was that the children of nature. All right. And when I when I when I, I share this, this 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 source where I've got this from, um, just know that these beings have no idea. These Siberian Asians who call themselves Native Americans, they have no idea what's going on. All right. They they know nothing about our planet. They know nothing about uh, the original uh, beings of this world, which are us. All right. They they know nothing of this. All right. The true Lakota tribe has been lost. All right. The true Lakota tribe is still alive right now. It's just that the bloodline has been lost because when these beings came to our came here and fought us and 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 caused us to fall out of balance and then they um they displaced us then classified us as colored or or black or negro as time and energy progressed on we lost the identity of our tribes therefore we lost our spirituality you see this is what happened and now that the original the children of nature are awakening we're in day three now and we're coming into the next hour of day three and crazy horse said on day three, nature herself <laughs> heard her children cry out, seeking for spirituality, seeking for the identity of themselves. And there was a great flash that went across the sky and fire and brimstone fell upon the land. And there was new grass and there was a new life and the old life had passed away. My brothers and sisters, it's important that we understand that our spirituality and we going into that true realm seeking for our identity here on our planet is extremely important. You understand that our spirituality and seeking the identity of who we are on our planet is extremely important. All right. So we going back and building pyramids and structures and taking ourselves back to hence where we came from. It's us crying out saying, hey, I want everything back that was taken away from me. I want my identity back. I want my power back. I want my energy back. I want my ability to be the infinite ones back. I want everything back. This is our way of crying out. Mother, Mother Nature, Mother Universe, Mother Cosmos, help me, Mother. Help me, Mother. 
Guide me. Show me the way. Show me what to do. Give me a vision. Show me my path. I want to return to you. I want to be where you are. I want to be the beings that you created me to be. This is your crying out. I want everything back. I want everything back. We're lost mother. And we have enemies who fought against us to make us lose our way. And I want to destroy my enemies and everything they created that destroys me and mine. Mother. We're looking for the right direction. We're looking for clarity. We're looking for unity. We're looking for guidance, mother. And therefore we begin building our structures as they, though we did in our past lives. <laughs> Brother Moan called me yesterday and he's excited because he's got these visions and he's drawing out these visions in his head and he's got visions. <laughs> And you know he he's 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 he says I'm I'm ready to build this because I know it's going to be powerful and I'm and, and I'm going to help him build it. You know he's right here. You know this brother. You know I've been I've been knowing him for for a few years now. And he's a wonderful brother. Brother Ramon is a wonderful brother. You know I got brother Elijah, brother Eugene. You know they're they're there. You know little brother Meech, little brother Mike. They're there. Yes. They're there, and we're all seeking for true spirituality. The young brothers, young sisters, all of you guys who are are um, uh, if you you're on here and, and you're followers of Rashad Jamal, hey, I'm not darning the brother. Yes, he's he's helped you guys awaken. Now you search your path for spirituality. All of you all who are following, you know, Conjure Queen and and um oh. Uh, Athea and I mean you know a sister uh, Isis all of you all who are following them you're searching for the path you're searching for your spirituality all you brothers who are following the brother we are woke you know it's like like um, Simeon Toko told these beings he said you know you just see me he said very soon it's gonna be Millions just like me. And there will be nothing that they can do about it. All you brothers and sisters who are following Dr. Mumbi Saraki. Oh yes, very spiritual sister, very powerful spiritual sister. Deep into the, the spiritual uh, 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 ethics of nature. Deep. You're seeking for your spirituality. You're seeking for your duality with nature. You're seeking for everything honestly. So then it is up to us to bring our enemies. Everything he created is up to us to bring our enemies to the ground. It's up to us to destroy them utterly. It's up to us. Right now we are changing nature and we're changing the energy of nature. Now we go deeper, continue to build, continue to create, continue to focus on your most inner parts of you. We make this happen. I like what the brother posted on one of the last posts and, and uh, I meant to, I meant to screenshot it and share it. I'm going to find the screenshot and share it. But he says he built a structure and all of a sudden the temperature around him changed. Understand who we are, brothers and sisters. You know, I know there's quite a few of you, um, many of you right here in Detroit who uh, follow, you know, my, my channel. So, hey, let's get this thing going. Let's get this thing moving. Let's get this. Let's get this thing in motion. Because we've been down for so long. We've been down for so long. It's, it's, it's been so much that we have endured as the original. 
And now it's time for the children of nature to rise. And I'll cry out to nature and our our um, seeking spirituality to turn back to where we came. We're not talking about a 360 degree turn because that means you're doing everything all over again. We're talking about a 180 degree turn, turning our backs, doing an about face on this entire system. Which means when you're doing about face, you're talking about you turning from what society wants you to do to spirituality. Use their money to create real power. Use their fake money to buy real resources. All right. Use this this uh, internet that they created to bring about true spirituality. Because the only thing they know right now is money. They don't know anything else but money. That's their only source of power. All right. Understand the 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 level of of energy and power that we exert when we do what we uh what our ancestors did all these inorganic beings on our planet all right all of them they're either asians or the other type you know and they and they have they have literally WRCJ. caused us to fall back so many steps all over the world. We bring our powers back by us seeking our true spirituality with Crazy Horse Saw. That takes us into the breach, the branch of power and energy. And energy so great that our enemies will realize after (laughs) a ways in the battle that they can't defeat us because they have this idea that there's nothing a gun can't solve. When in reality, when dealing with the true beings of nature, a gun cannot solve anything. We've fallen from our domain we've fallen from our spiritual mindset we've fallen from all types of 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 energies and and powers that that um that originally belonged to us we've fallen away from that now we're saying we, we want this back and when we get this back this time we're not turning away from it anyone else who wants to come and try to downplay and destroy and and infiltrate our minds again we're not going to allow anything of that nature to happen we will kill them on the spot because we're gonna we're gonna remember what our ancestors remembered we're gonna see what our ancestors saw we're gonna feel their pain i've I've already been feeling their pain I, i i saw the vision of the of the little sister calling out daddy 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 help me daddy help me and these orc beings had her and her dad was tied down on the ground. They subdued him. It was a bunch of them. They tied him down to the ground. And he was on the ground and he had to watch these men, these orc men, rape his daughter. And I saw that in the spirit realm. And I was furious. There was a fire that grew in me and I wanted to kill them all, but I remember I could not intervene. Could not change anything that happened in the past. When you time travel, you cannot disrupt anything that happened in the past because you can fuck up a lot of shit right here in this current life. Only thing I could do was watch. And that little girl, she was never the same. Even to a grown woman, she ended up killing herself because of her memories. She hung her own self. She couldn't take it anymore. I remember seeing this in my visions. It's a time travel. 
I time travel many times and there's a lot of things that I see that I haven't told many. This is one of many that I saw. But I remember her calling her dad. And I remember him there and he couldn't do anything. He was tied down and and afterwards they shot him in the head. <laughs> For whatever reason that happened, we don't know. But as we grow deeper into our spirituality and take back everything that belongs to us, we will figure out what took place. We will know everything. And this is why they're trying to change history. They're trying to ban history classes. They don't want our children to know how devious and diabolical their forefathers were and how diabolical and devious they are right now. How defiant they are towards nature and her children. They know what they're doing and they're working in this thing wholeheartedly. They want us to be a part of their system so bad. You cry out for your spirituality and you take yourself into a new level of power and energy. That's why we're saying build my people, build my brothers and sisters, build, build, create, open up your mind. The gateways of creation has been poured upon you. Draw it down on a piece of paper. Find someone who can build so that they can teach you how to build. Find someone. If you can't find anyone to build, teach you how to build, then get with someone who don't know how to build neither. And you build it yourself. Screws and hammers and nails and drills and saws. You can do it. You have that ability. You have that power. All of this is within you, brothers and sisters. All of this is, is, is within you. When you cry out to mother, nature is God and God is nature. When you cry out to mother, seeking to return to where you come from, mother will hear you. She will show you the way. The only way to go forward is to go backwards which means that we have to build and create. And when we begin building and creating, <laughs> then we begin changing things on the planet because this is our planet and this is us who we are. And we will remember everything that was stolen from us, our culture, our lifestyles, things we did, the things we ate, the things we, we, how we, how we lived, how we lived amongst each others. So many tribes that live within tribes. Cause we all saw ourselves as nature and we congregated together and we fought together and we were one with each other. You want to know one thing though? If there was any disagreements among us, you know what we did? We battled it out on a field. We played sports. Yeah, that's what we did, many of us. We played sports. Or either, you know, we duked it out and had a little fight. Very little fights. But most of the time, we put it on the field. And I see a lot of brothers who do that now. Okay, all right, you got a problem with me? Tell you what, we're going to take it to the court. We're going to take it to the court and we're going to see who the best man is. We're going to see who the best man is. If you can beat me on the court, I ain't going to say nothing else to you no more. I'm going to give you your props. This is what we did. We took it out on the field. And we battled out. We played games. Oh, we played many games. Anytime we had disagreements, instead of us fighting, all right, we played games and we duked it out on the field. Oh, yeah. See, we've been taken away from that. And now we can't even have an argument without a brother 
pulling a gun on another brother or a sister pulling a gun on another sister and taking lives because our enemies have turned us against nature and they turned us against ourselves. We cry out to nature seeking the way to go and therefore we find our way because nature will open up the gateways within us and she will show us the path that we are supposed to travel. She will give us the urge to want to do something different. She will be there with us always, brothers and sisters. She will be, us, she will be there with us always. Nature is God and God is nature. And it's time for us, the original beings, to return to our God, our true God, nature. Because nature says, when you worship yourself, you're worshiping me. Nature is waiting for you to return to her because she seeks your heart to be one with her again. For so long have we been against our own mother, the creator of all of us, all of us who look like me. The greed of all of us. She's seeking for us to return to her. That's what she's seeking for. All right, brothers and sisters. It is our duty to return back to where we come from. When nature calls, you must answer. And nature is calling. <laughs> our brother. The one they call Crazy Horse, time travel. And he saw when that when we cried out to nature. And when you cry out to nature, you gotta understand that you know when a when a when a child cries out to a mother, what does a child do? A child is is reaching for the mother. The child was reaching for the mother. She's reaching and she's walking toward. And the mother then grabs her and says, You are right. And this is what nature is doing. Nature wants to return our powers to us because she's been holding it so long. So long she's been holding our powers, our abilities, our strengths, our energies, our everything. She's been holding. She's been waiting for us to return to her. Build my brothers and sisters. Build, create, seek for the way to, to go. Seek the, seek the guidance of nature. Seek the guidance of true spirituality. It's not in God and Jesus and Allah and Jehovah. All of those who are running here and there looking for God on the outside of them, they will soon learn that God is within them and God is nature and nature is God. And if they want to deny it, nature knows what to do. That's not my decision to make. <laughs> oh, yes. Reset your programs to nature, brothers and sisters. I share this with you wholeheartedly. All right, guys. I'm honored to serve you all. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to be on this planet forever. All right. Just remember that. And I tell you all again, I am not indigenous to this planet, yet I am one of the original creators of this world. And I know who you are, and I know the powers that nature gave you, and I know everything that you are about. All right? Nature created you all, and her beauty, her strength, her honor, her power, her delicate a uh, 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 level of, of, of different types of atomic structures. Yes, nature created you perfectly, brothers and sisters. All others who do not resemble us were created somewhat else. And wherever they come from is their home where their God resides. 
but your God is nature and nature is God. God is nature and nature is God. And you are gods because you are nature. Which means you are the rulers of this world. That's why we must take our place back on our planet. Build, brothers and sisters, build. build. Just as our ancestors built and created because what did these these orc beings say when they created when they invaded our planet they said we saw hundreds of thousands of hundreds of thousands of structures everywhere and they knew that those structures were our source of power after they learned of who we were this time this time we will protect that which we built and we will find the source Of who is sending orders. And we will destroy them. And nature will taste their blood. In the perfect peace with nature. The perfect inner peace. Mm -hmm. I share this with you all. <laughs> you know the deal. All power to the multi chakra celestial angelic beings. May chaos reign with you forever and ever. Much power to you all.